Hello, my amazing Algebra Half students. This is Mrs. A, and I love math. And today we're doing Lesson 52 in our Blue Books, and it's all about brackets. That's it, brackets. We have four problems to do, and we'll be done. Okay, so um, this is not a bracket. This is a parenthesis, but both parentheses and brackets are symbols of inclusion which means we are using them to tell um, the person that's doing our problem that we want this part to be done first. Okay, so what we often use brackets for is when we have too many things to keep straight. So we have a set of parentheses here, and then over here we have another set of parentheses. And then just to keep it all straight, we use brackets so we don't have so many parentheses that we can't tell where they start and stop. So for clarity, we use the brackets, um, and sometimes we'll even use the braces when we get so many things going on that we need yet another symbol of inclusion. So they're all symbols of inclusion and we always do symbols of inclusion left to right and inside out. Okay, which means we're going to start innermost and work outwards. So in this problem here that I have down here for you, we're going to, we have a big bracket but inside the bracket, we have our own little problem here, and we're going to follow the order of operations inside the bracket, which means that inside the bracket, I have one, two symbols of inclusion as I move left to right inside the bracket. So five minus two is three, and then 14 minus 12 is two, that did not look like a parenthesis. And then plus three bracket. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and bring the rest of this down. And one of the biggest mistakes when doing this type of problem is trying to do the 24 minus 2 first. That's a big mistake. We always start with the bracket the symbol of inclusion, and we start working it inside here first, and then we move out from there. So we have three times two is six, and six plus three is nine. So in inside my big bracket, I have nine. So now let's take this and simplify it up here. 24 minus two bracket nine. Okay, well now, We've simplified it down to this, but now we've got a minus and a times. Which comes first? Well, the times does. Not because of the bracket, but because of the order of operations. Multiplication comes before subtraction, doesn't it? So we're going to go ahead and multiply the 2 times the 9. So 24 minus 18 and 24 minus 18 is 6. So the answer to the whole problem is six. Okay, so here we have example number two. And we have a bunch of stuff here and then we have a bracket. And inside the bracket, we have parentheses. So now we're going to start at our leftmost parentheses inside our big bracket. So inside the bracket, we move left to right. So we're going to do this parentheses first. So we have, a 3 plus 12 is 15, and I'm going to put it back in its parentheses, not, it's really just holding it together, because look what's there, a 3. So if I just put the 3 right next to the 15 without the parentheses, it would look like 315, but it really is 3 times 15, so the parentheses helps me to know that, okay? Minus... 5 times 2 is 10, and then again, I'm going to use the parenthesis to show me that this is multiplied, and then I'm going to put the bracket because I haven't simplified what's inside it yet. And I can go ahead and bring this down, 
and move on to the next one. So now we're still simplifying in here and we have a multiplication minus another multiplication. So three times 15 is 45 minus 10 times three is 30 because multiplication is a higher rank than our addition and subtraction. So now we have this and 45 minus 30 is 15. So now I'll bring this down. Okay, so now we have 15 and 15, we can put it back in its bracket because this is really a multiplication procedure here. We 33 minus 2 times 15 and 2 times 15 is 30. So we have 33 minus the 30 is the 3. And that is the answer to example number 2. Here is your first practice problem. Yep, that's right. Two problems and now two practice problems and we'll be done. This is a very short lesson, isn't it? But it's a fun lesson because these are kind of like puzzles that you have to work just exactly correctly. So here we have our bracket and our bracket is holding two more parentheses. So we have a big symbol of inclusion and then inside it we have two more. Remember we do these left to right inside the other ones. We work inside out and left to right. So we're going to do this one first. 4 minus 1 is 3 and then 10 minus 6 is 4 and we'll tack on the plus 2 bracket bracket 3 and there we go and we have our whole problem a little bit simplified but now let's simplify it further. 3 times 4 is 12 plus the 2 is going to be 14. So now we're going to have 14. And I've got it in a bracket because, look at that, that 3 is a multiplication, isn't it? So now, again, it's a very big mistake to say 55 minus 3. The 55 is the last thing we do. We're going to do the 3 times the 14 before we even think about the 55. Okay, so 3 times the 14 is going to be a 12, carry, and a 42. So now we have a 55 minus a 42 is a 13. And that is your first practice. Oops, I was supposed to let you do that. I'm going to let you do the next one. How's that? Okay, so on this practice problem, I want you to copy it down and pause your video. Okay, so we're going to look at this huge bracket, <clears throat> very big, and inside the bracket we have two parentheses, and we're going to do this one first, left to right. So 6 minus 3 is 3. And then I'm just going to pull down the 3, move to this one. 4 minus 2 is 2. And notice that my parentheses are giving me clarification. I'm understanding it better because I leave them there. Because without the parentheses, it would look like a 32. And it's not a 32. So now I can bring these down. So now, multiplication, multiplication, addition. We're going to do these, but we're going to do them left to right. So 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 times 2 is 18, and 18 plus 2, and then minus 2, and then 2 times. So now we have to finish this, and we get a 20. And we have a 2 times a 20 minus the 2. And the 2 times goes first, doesn't it? So 2 times 20 is 40. And 40 take away 2 is 38. And we are done with that lesson. Done with lesson 52. Remember, if you ever see me make a mistake, I'm sure it happens, please email me so that I will know to correct my video. I don't want to leave a bad video there, but even I make mistakes. 
right? So um, if you do find one, please let me know. And we are done with lesson 52. And this is Mrs. A. And may God bless your day.